Good morning guys. So today I'm going to do a highly requested video. I'm going to do a get ready with me for my everyday makeup look. And now that I finally got this little cutie to sleep, we'll go ahead and get started before she wakes up again. First off, I'm going to wash my face and prepare my skin. is washed I'm going to put on a primer um, I use this one the Revlon color stay and I just put a little bit on my finger and I just dab it kind of where I need it I put it under my eyes on my nose and then just kind of blend it through now in this video, um, it's gonna be all drugstore brand makeup. Uh, all of my high-end professional makeup is all gone and I haven't restocked it yet. So it's all gonna be drugstore. And then this is my little secret for priming my eyes for my eyeshadow. I like to use chapstick. I know it's kind of weird, it's a cheer and dance thing that I used to do to help like your eyeshadow pop and stay for the whole competition. I like the cake batter, any of the flavored ones that have like the clear color work the best. So don't do like cherry or strawberry or the mint or peppermint because those ones will burn your eyes. Uh, I put it on my lips and then I put it on my eyelids. Like that you don't need a lot and then I just go through and I kind of just rub it in so it's not chalky or like caked on in places and it's just a smooth surface and you kind of let that sit so while I'm waiting for the primer to sit and the chapstick I like to do my eyebrows my sister just colored my eyebrows so I don't need to do too much um, I just add a little bit to my ends and then I just kind of add a little bit to the tops. Using Red Mole London's Brow This Way eyebrow pencil. This is in shade Hazel. It's a shade too light for me right now. I usually do dark brown, but is what I have right now so we're going with that now I use a toothbrush to go through and kind of brush through that product through my brows and to just kind of brush my brows out don't ask me why I use a toothbrush it's just something that I've always done my mom does it too and it works great next step is my eyes and the eyeshadow I use this huge compact from e.l.f. I get it every year for Christmas at Target and I absolutely love it as you can see. I use it a lot. Um, browns are my favorite right now so we'll just go ahead and do a brown. I just pick a light color to put on over my entire lid. Once you're done with the all over on your lid, I take a lighter color and I put it up by my eyebrow on that top part of my lid. Then I take a flatter brush and this is what I use for my creases and I pick a darker brown and I just kind of dab it in my crease and then I use a windshield wiper motion. And I just use it to kind of outline my eye shape and when I'm done with that I just go back through with that lighter color and just kind of blend the dark brown the top of the dark brown and sometimes I'll go back through with that lighter color and just give it a little bit extra to kind of blend it in with the bottom as well now I don't usually put eyeshadow under my eyes. You can, 
but I don't usually do it. And then I take that same flatter ankle brush and I just dust it off and get it clean. And I use it to do a lighter color in the corner of my eyes. And so I'll just take a little bit. Right. When I'm done, I take a little fluffier of a brush and I just kind of blend that all through. It's time for my eyeliner. I like liquid eyeliner. I use the Master Precise All Day by Maybelline. That's what it looks like. And this is the, just the black. And I have no idea how to do a wing. I should learn. But I just do it across my lid. Somewhat even. <laughs> So now on to my foundation. Um, we'll start with the concealer. I love Tarte Shape Tape, so this one isn't a drugstore brand, but this is the best that I found for concealer. Um, I put this, it's actually almost gone. I put this under my eyes just to kind of brighten them up. Um, it helps with dark circles. And I just dab it on right there. And sometimes I'll use it to shape the top of my brow a little bit. You can also use it to cover up any dark spots or pimples. We will start with my foundation. I use the Revlon Color Stay. My color is Natural Beige. So I just do a little glob and I apply as needed. And I start with under my eyes and I just dab it, blending it into the Shape Tape Concealer. I'm just making sure that I get those under eyes nice and bright. Under your eyes, because that skin is very sensitive. And then I just wipe it. I kind of do like a wipe and dab motion. I don't know if it's right, but it's what works for me. Get those creases on my nose, around my lips, dab on my nose, get some on my chin. Go up to my forehead. And I use the sponge to help clean up the lines of my brows. And then I do under my jawline as well to kind of blend it down and match it with my neck. Some of it in my eyebrow. <laughs> Once I get my foundation done, I like to do my highlight and contour. I use the Revlon Insta Sculpt. That's what it looks like. And I use a highlighting brush from e.l.f. And I just take the darker color I go up by my cheekbones right here. And I like to do up here on my forehead and down here. Then I take the same brush. I have two of these brushes, one for contour and one for highlight. So I take the same brush, again, just a highlighting brush from e.l.f. and I take the lighter color and I do the bridge of my nose just like that on my chin right here I do my under eye in a triangle to bring that highlight down and I'm gonna do a dab in the middle of my forehead top of my lip just like that for my setting powder I use Revlon's color stay um, pressed powder in the translucent color and I take uh, an elf blush brush and just kind of dust it all over my face to kind of set my makeup for the day um, I don't like the dewy look I like more of a matte finish so this helps give you that matte look and blends in the 
um, highlight and contour. Then I take a foundation brush, same thing, and just blend in on my neckline. And I'll also blend just around my face with that same brush. Now onto blush, and I use Maybelline's Master Blush Kit. This one's my favorite color, if you can tell. I like this kit because it does give me the option to use different colors, and I also mix them. If I mix, I usually use this one and this darker one. Um, I'm not a fan of the pink, so that one never gets used. And I just dust that on to my cheeks, and a little on my nose. And then I take that same brush that I used to do the translucent powder and I just kind of go back over it to blend. Next up is my lashes and I use two different mascaras. The first one, this one's probably my favorite. It's the Falsies Push Up Drama by Maybelline. I love this one because it gives me like thickness and volume at the same time. I'm running low, this one's like super, super hard to find. Typically, I've had to order it off Amazon, but I'll just put the mascara on. It's just so hard to do without being up close in a mirror. Got a little bit on the side of my face here. And then the bum washes. Once I'm done with that one, I have now just found this Illegal Length Fiber Extensions Mascara, also from Maybelline. All of these are in their darkest black color, and I just do a little bit of this one to add some length to the top. Last but not least is the lips. I really like Nude. So this is my favorite. I have it probably in every single color. It's the CoverGirl Melting Pout Matte. There you go. This is in the color Current Nude. And what I love about it is it's creamy, it's very, very smooth to go on, and it lasts a really long time. Have it my super easy day-to-day -day makeup look all of these products you can find at your local drugstore which is awesome except for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer you can find that at Sephora or online please leave a comment down below if there are any makeup tutorials you would like me to try or if there are any products I can try that you guys absolutely love don't forget to follow me on Instagram if you want to see more of my day-to-day -day looks or if you just want to see cute pictures of my little girls Thank you so much for watching this video. Give me a thumbs up if you liked it, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!